Hi, I'm Dar, the High Level Guy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I use High Level's all-in-one platform to create engaging content that I communicate with our SaaS clients. Newsletters, text messages, all wrapped up together in a workflow that delivers seamlessly to our clients, letting them know, frankly, uh, about new cool features that they have available to them in the system. So jump inside, check out the video, and do me a favor, at the end of the video, let me know if it was helpful. Let me know if you learned anything about it. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them below. See you on the inside. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do a really quick and easy but engaging email newsletter to our clients, to all of our SaaS clients using High Level. So let's jump right in. First thing I do is I record whatever I wanna show my clients in Loom. Right, so you can see here's a Loom video that I've already recorded. Now from there, I'm gonna download the Loom video to my desktop. And from downloading the video to the desktop, then I'm gonna upload it to my Google Drive, right? So I have a Google Drive that I upload the video to. And then from there, also the downloaded drive on my desktop, I'm going to upload that to Vimeo. Now hold on a second, I'll show you. Okay, so I take that same Loom video that I've downloaded onto my desktop, uploaded it into Google Drive, but I've also uploaded it into Vimeo. And here in Vimeo, there's a really cool feature. It says create a GIF. So you click create GIF, and then it's going to ask you what part you want. So I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to kind of find an engaging part that shows movement, right? Whatever, like, oh, there's some movement, and I would hit create GIF. It's going to create the GIF really quick, and then I'm going to download it. Uh, Right, so I have the ability to download that GIF, which I'm going to do, save to my desktop. Now let's ho head over to um, High Level. So here I am in High Level in the newsletter dashboard editor. Right, so you go to let me just show you really quick. You're gonna go to marketing and under marketing templates, well emails, sorry email templates, and we're gonna go to what was it newsletter 106. Okay, so here we are in the templates. Now, in the emails, you have two options. One is you can create an email, and it looks just like this, like the templates. You can create the email and then send the email directly from there. I do it a little bit differently, and so I had a couple extra steps um, that I think are beneficial, not only for delivery, but for tracking purposes. So what I do is I create all of my emails in templates, and I'll show you why here in a minute. So here I am in the, in the email template. As you can see, it's really easy to do. I've got the logo, um, title, I've put in some text, and then here I've linked the word here to the Google Share Drive, All right? So here's the Google Share Drive link that opens up that video, as well as I've uploaded the GIF, right? So this is simply an image. As you can see over here, it says image, and I would upload that image I'll just show you. So here it is. I've uploaded it. And then I have linked it, right? So this is the, again, the Google Drive folder link so that when someone clicks on this, it opens it up. Then I've finished it off and I'm going to hit save. And then from there, um, I'm going to hit preview. I want to preview it and make sure it all looks good. Again, this is nothing like extravagant. This is a nice, straightforward, yet engaging email for our SaaS clients. So they get the email. As you can see, there's a little bit of movement because of the GIF. And then we'd be like, oh, what is that? What's going on? I want to check it out. So if they click this, then it's going to open the video that they can watch right in the Google Drive. There you go. So now that we feel like it looks good on desktop, tablet, and mobile, we're going to go back to the builder. Then I'm gonna to go to automation. Actually, really quick, I'm gonna make a trigger link. So uh, I've taken the Google Share link, and as you can see, I have trigger links here, and I just reuse this one that says newsletter video. So I go in here, I hit edit, and each time I do a new video, I just replace the newsletter uh, share link, or the video share link right here in this newsletter video trigger. So that's my trigger link, I'm gonna hit save, and now I'm gonna to go to automations. So here I am in automations. I'm gonna go down to messaging to the customers folder. And then I'm gonna find, I already have this. Let me find it for you really quick. 
Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy a, a workflow that I've used in the past. So the last newsletter that was sent out, uh, I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna copy this one that says four new AI tools. As you can see, it went to 329 uh, customers. And this is just newsletters for customers. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna hit um, to duplicate workflow. And I'm gonna call this dashboards, custom dashboards. Was newsletter. I'm gonna date it today, so 2404417. Oh, and then create. We're gonna open it up. All right, and then uh, here we have a really simple sequence. I wait three minutes. I always put this in here just as a, you know, a just in case. I schedule the campaign or workflow to go out. And if at the last minute I hit schedule to send it, and I'm like, oh, I forgot to do whatever. You know, maybe it's my ADHD. Like uh, that has happened before. I'm like, oh, I forgot that whatever. Well, I've got a three minutes of, oh no, protection, right? So I just have them go into a quick three minute wait step. And then um, we're going to update this and we're going to call this custom dashboards because this is what I'm sending to my clients. And then from support of Cairo dominance, uh, I have a new subject line. Hold on. Let me go get that really quick. Okay. So I've pasted in the subject line that I had, by the way, let me show you where that is uh, in settings. So you're in here in templates and you go to uh, settings. Here's where you can put in your preview text and your email. So I copy that brought it over here and put it in the subject line. And then I just chose templates. So earlier when I said, here's why I don't send the emails just directly from the email builder while I build them in templates uh, is because I wanna be able to do that here you know, and bring in the template here. So here is the newsletter and I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm gonna wait two minutes and I'm gonna send an SMS to our clients. So it'll say, hi, contact preferred name. We've launched, um, here, I'll type this in. I'll come back. Okay, so this is the text. We've launched a new custom dashboard in the Cairo Dominance Hub and uh, just sent you an email about it. You can also see them in the link below. This is where the trigger link comes into play. So um, it's going to be the same one since I always use the same one, but let me show you how you would add that. You would click here and find the link you want. So mine's going to be newsletter video and there's the link. And then I have the Cairo Dominance logo attached as well. So when they um, get the text, then there's the our logo as well. I'm going to hit save action, save action here. I'm going to look at my settings and verify that I do have a Lowry entry on. I always do. Uh, and I have mark as red. The reason I have mark as red is because when you send out a workflow campaign, uh, it's going to clog up that conversations channel. And then when you have people actually replying back to you in your conversation channel, it may be hard for people to, for you to identify those in amongst all the ones that you're sending out. So if you click at, as mark as red, then um, yeah, there they will essentially be marked as red and won't clog up your unread channel. Uh, so there you go. Now it is, uh, everything's ready to go. You go back to the builder. I'm gonna click publish, hit save. And uh, so now I can add my clients to this workflow and they'll get the newsletter. Then a, a minute later, two minutes later, they'll get a text saying, hey, uh, we just sent you a newsletter about this cool new feature, custom dashboards, and they can watch the video either in the newsletter, which would be engaging because the newsletter has that GIF with a little movement, or they can watch it via the text that I send them uh, with the trigger link in it. Anyway, hope this was helpful and um, see you in the next video. Hey, so what'd you think? Pretty cool, isn't it? High Level is an amazing system that you can do so much with. In this case, you know, I've shown you how you can do a newsletter and send it out, how you can do a newsletter and wrap it together with a text message to send it out to even get higher uh, open rates from either your clients or leads and prospects. Uh, if you have any questions about High Level, leave them in the comments below. If you're interested in your own High Level account, then go to darholdsworth.com. That's my site. There'll be a link below where you can get a 30-day free trial of High Level and not only that, but I'm going to give you bonuses to kind of really help you get started. We have a successful SaaS business that serves hundreds of clients. We've learned a lot along the way. Uh, and so let us help you avoid some of the mistakes and pitfalls that you would fall into. 
and kind of show you a roadmap of how you get your business set up quickly using high level. So uh, darholdsworth.com, get a free 30-day trial and get my course and bonuses to go along with it. See you.